Hello, this is my Janome 1600P DB mid-arm sewing machine on my Hinterberg 10-foot quilting frame. And I thought I would videotape it all operational so you can see what it's like. I've added additional LED lighting underneath rather than just the light that's provided with the machine. It has a built-in thread stand to hold up the threads off the back. It will accommodate larger spools. Right now I have a smaller one on. <clears throat> it sews very, very fast. Um, I have it on only about half speed. It's got turtle, rabbit, and jackrabbit. This is the needle up and down button, which is very handy with free motion quilting. It's set up on my Hinterberg frame, which is a 10 foot long frame. It will accommodate a king size quilt. If you decide you want it smaller, all you have to do is remove these pipes, cut them down, reattach, and the whole thing becomes shorter. These are just conduit piping from a hardware store. They're very sturdy compared to the grace frames that are aluminum that bounce. These are very sturdy frames. I love it. Uh, the only reason why I'm selling it is because I've just purchased another Hinterberg frame, bigger and wider, with a um, long arm machine on. This is called a mid arm. So I'm going up one step. Anyhow, the frame itself is set down at the lowest level that I can sit on a chair. If you wish to use it at a higher level, you can purchase adaptive or additional adapter legs that bolt on to make it higher if you wish to stand when you work. The handle can be removed from this side and reversed to the back side easily. It just unscrews and slides out. Then you can work from the back side and work on what are called the groovy boards with the included stylus. There are four different patterns of groovy boards. Or you can work with the laser light pointer and pantograph printed out sheets, which I also included the laser stylus. It just bolts onto the corner of the carriage right here. I have it off right now. So the handles are interchangeable. Generally, there is a foot pedal up here on a big wooden mechanism. I've taken that off. It is included in the sale. It bolts back up right there. I took it off because I added the supplemental speed control. This way, with a button push, I can control the speed. I can pulse to lock in my threads. I can adjust the speed level here. This is not a stitch regulator, but it is a speed controller. It's much easier to use than the original version with the foot pedal and the squeezy lever, if you want to call it that, like a bicycle brake lever. So I've changed that and it works much better. The foot pedal is included if you wish to sew as a regular machine on a table. It's also a knee bar. There's the hole for it. You could use a knee bar for um, table sewing as well. The frame itself has rollers for the back finished um, quilt. The front roller here is for the backing. Here is the batting that you just kind of float down in between. And this is the quilt top that's on the lower roller. The device will flip up so it's easier to load it up. And then when you're ready to sew, you lock it back into place which I'm trying to do one-handed here with those little pins. As you sew, you need to raise and lower this beam. Here's the controllers right here, up and down, with measurements on this side, little tape measures. So as you're working on the quilt, you need to raise it up a little bit every time and raise up the front beam so it's not rubbing on this bed. You just need a little finger space underneath here. If it drags and rubs on that bed, you'll start breaking threads or breaking needles and not know why. So the frame is adjustable up and down while you sew. 
also the cords hanging off the back. It's the power cord as well as the cord for the little LED lights I added sometimes get tangled in the track. So I attach them to an elastic band that I've clipped up to my bookshelf. I've also just attached this to a command hook stuck to the wall when I had the frame in another position in another area of my room. So the frame itself is a little over 10 feet long, about 10 and a half because of the wood stuff and the knobs on each side. And the um, storage area underneath is pretty nice. I store things. I got some weaving looms and boxes under there. So you can leave things underneath while you're sliding it back and forth using it. I almost really hate to sell this machine because I just had it serviced uh, last year and the gentleman said it's a wonderful machine. It's one of the best they've made. It's a high speed machine, almost considered industrial. And it goes so fast, I can't keep up with it. That's why I slide that little um, dial down. If you're really good, you can move it up. <coughs> Excuse me. Now my husband's going to come down and film me while I'm actually doing some free motion stitching. Okay. With the stitch controller on the handle, all I have to do is push the button to stop and start. This is the pulse. It's enough to just lock in threads if you need it. Smooth and steady. Keep your movements going all times. Don't move too fast, your stitches are too big. Don't move too slow, your stitches are too little. My only word of caution is every time you're ready to start sewing, make sure this is down. If you do not have the feed dog down with this special foot, you'll get snarled up threads underneath. This is my favorite, I call it hooks and swirls, my favorite pattern. I'm using variegated thread, which is kind of nice because it changes color. Once I'm done, going all the way across, this is a queen size quilt and I'm getting almost to the end. I, I have, I think maybe um, 20 more inches to go. So you are somewhat limited by a smaller throat right here but I still have done a queen size quilt and you know, when I get down towards the end, I'm still stitching in a you know, four or five inch swath across. If you do a king size, it gets a little more snug, but I've actually picked up the entire two rollers, unhook them, pick them up, reverse them around, swap them in the opposite direction, drop it back down, and then I quilt the rest of the quilt. There's a lot of YouTubes on how to do this. Um, so check out YouTube, look for free motion quilting on a Hinterberg frame. Uh, the machine is self-explanatory. It just stitches and stitches and stitches and just goes wonderfully. Um, it's a straight stitch machine. It comes with some extra accessories, some extra needles and bobbins. That'll all be included in the sale. And I hope whoever buys this really enjoys it as much as I have. I've had it for about six or seven years now and I really enjoy it. And thank you for looking at my video.